Hey everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn how we can hack any Windows machine using Python. So we are going to basically create two tools over here. The first one is going to be listener.py file, which is going to listen for any incoming connections. And the second one is going to be payload.py file, which will be used to hack any Windows machine or the victim. Okay. So uh, let me tell you one more thing that this the tool that we're going to create is 100% uh, undetectable by any antivirus till now. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to create is listen.py file that is going to listen for incoming connection. So let me create it. So I'm going to open a PowerShell window over here and I'm going to type notepad uh, listener.py the name of the file and hit enter and as you can see we got this uh, notepad, notepad interface and now we need to import some libraries over here. And the first library or the most important library is going to be socket. So Socket is basically used to uh, communicate between two or more computers. So basically we are using socket to send and receive command and the output from our listener.py file to the payload.py file, right? Because once we got any connection from the victim's machine, then we want to execute some kind of command so that we can fully uh, get access to the particular victim's computer, right? So socket library is going to help us for that. So it is used to establish connection between two computers or more than two computers and that's it that's all we need to import in listener.py file so now the second thing that we need to do is we need to create an instance of a socket class and we're going to store it in some kind of variable so i'm going to initialize the variable listener and i'm going to type socket.socket .socket. And here we have to pass two values, two uh, parameters basically. So let me type them socket.af underscore inet and socket.soft string. Now let me demonstrate uh, you these both values. So socket.af underscore inet is basically tells the socket that we are going to establish a connection over an IP address. Okay. So because we will be uh, using this listen.py and payload.py file on the internet, right? So we are going to hack any computer on the internet by sending the payload file and establishing the listener file. So we are going to use internet protocol or the INET to uh, in the socket library, right? So the second thing is socket.soc streams. It basically tells the socket that we are going to establish a TCP connection because TCP connection is more reliable than any other connections uh, over the internet, right? We have two, basically two main uh, connections. The first one is UDP and second one is TCP. And the basic difference between two is that TCP is more reliable than the UDP. Okay. Now, once we have created the instance of the socket class, the first thing that we need to do is we need to bind this listener to our IP address and to our port. Basically, this is going to open a port on our computer so that we can get uh, data from the victims to our computer. So we're going to do that by typing listener.bind and we have to uh, pass a tuple over here and in the first argument we have to specify the IP address of our machine and the second argument we have to pass the port that we want our listener to run on. Okay, so let me just type localhost over here because I'm not going to uh, test it now. We will test it in the later videos and in the port, let's specify 4444. Perfect. Now, once we've done that, this, the third thing that we need to do is we need to accept any connection that is uh, that will be coming from any victim or any other machine. Basically, the victim is the main uh, machine over here. So what we need to do is we need to type listener.accept. Now, this method is going to return two values. So this method is basically going to accept any connection which will be uh, coming from any incoming source. Example, uh, victim's machine over here, right? So this uh, accept method will return two values. The first value is going to be connection through which we are going to send and receive data. And the second value is going to be IP address which will identify the particular victim on the internet or on your local area network, okay? So we need to type connection from uh, uh, address equals to listener.accept. Okay, cool. So basically the 
once the listener dot accept method will return two values then the connection value is going to be sent on the connection uh, variable and the address value is going to be sent to the address value uh, address variable and we need to do one more thing over here, that we need to use the listen method that will listen for any incoming connection so once we have started the listen method what we need to do is we need to print something like uh, we have started the listener so we can type listener has started started and once we get any connection we simply type print cut uh, connection from and we are just going to type address so once we'll get any connection then this line of code will execute so it will basically uh, print this uh, string on the console that got connection from the particular address so let me save this file and let's try to run it and let's see if we get any error or not so let me try python listener.py let's hit enter and as you can see we got an error which because of the spelling mistake over here so let me, let me correct this so socket or socket okay and now everything should work fine let me try again and as you can see the listener has started so right now we have successfully created a basic listener uh, for our attack for hacking the windows and now in the next video we are going to learn how we can create a payload.py file and how we can get connection from the payload.py file to the listener.py thank you